everyone welcome back to my channel this is Jessie uh, today I want to do something totally different uh, I want to start a series on my channel called the essential oil corner um, and I just want you guys to know I'm not a certified aromatherapist in any way shape or form um, I do however have a, I have a lot of information um, on about essential oils at my fingertips. Um, in future episodes, I want to go over some of the books I use for references um, and so, things like that. Um, if you ha I'm always open for questions. I can certainly um, try to look things up if I don't know the answer or direct you to someone who could help. Um, however, this is not a channel or a platform to discuss uh, MLM companies versus non-MLM companies um, or um, any type of issues with oil purity or sourcing or anything like that. I don't want to get into those discussions on my channel. Uh, I just want this to be fun, lighthearted place where you can hopefully learn some information. Um, so my ch the company that I order oils from the most is Plant Therapy, and they just had their July customer appreciation uh, month. J they call it JCAM. And I wanted to get this video up for you guys before it got too much away from July. Uh, I did order some of these oils at the very last minute, um, so at the end of the month, so I, I didn't get them too, too long ago. Uh, but I just basically wanted to show you everything I got here, all these oils here, plus the towel that they're sitting on. It's kind of a big hand towel that has the Plant Therapy logo. I'll show you that um, in a little bit but all of this was fifty dollars i basically took advantage of their different types of categories of oils that they had on sale for about twenty dollars or twenty percent off um so i'll get started um honestly i was planning on getting these three and then their marketing and their sales convinced me to get these well this one and the towel i was also planning i was debating this one um, I wasn't sure, so I'll start out with this one. This is a kids safe blend. It's called Ear Ease, and basically they work with a chemist, uh, Dr. Robert Tisserand, who's been working with essential oils for over 30 years, and they developed this blend uh, for kids and ear infection and ear pains. Um, I don't have any kids, but I really want to use this myself because I get um, frequent ear pain. Now it comes with a dropper as you see, uh, with, you wouldn't want to drop it in your ear unless you had your physician's approval in case you have a perforated eardrum or something like that going on. Um, and I'm not planning on dropping it in my ear at all actually. Um, but I just, this is supposed to relieve pain, kind of relieve pain in from the area so if you like rub it behind your ear. Um, and also it has some decongestion congesting oils in it so hopefully if you've got some congestion it'll help clear the lymph path passages underneath your ear and maybe your nose as well um, and I can basically tell you the oils in it uh, the most of these bottles are pure oils except for this one is actually already diluted in a in a pre-formulated dilution so this is ready to go I could use this on I could apply this with my fingers if I wanted and it wouldn't hurt me. Um, it's actually diluted in hemp seed oil, which doesn't have CBD or anything like that. It's just um, it's a different type of carrier oil that can help with pain. So the oils in here are lavender, rosalina, tea tree, palmarosa, and chamomile roman. And it's basically in a unrefined hemp seed carrier oil at a 2% dilution. And I probably should have started out with a more general video on dilution rates and things like that. Um, if you guys are interested in essential oil safety and dilution, let me know. Um, or let me know if you have any specific questions about essential oils. Um, but this is that oil. Basically, the pain relieving oils in here would be the lavender and the chamomile. And the chamomile, both of them would also relax the child if they were upset with their ear problems. Um, the Rosalina tear tree, Tea Tree would definitely help with the decongestion. Um, and these are all deemed kid safe. The plant therapy has a whole kid safe line developed in, in part with Robert Tisserand. Um, so if you guys are looking and they deemed kids by ages 2 to 10. 
years of age. Um, so that is the first thing I got. I got this for 20% off. And actually, this is a newer blend by Plant Therapy. And it was the first time that they've ever let it go on sale. Usually their sales have excluded the newer oils. But since it finally went on sale, I got it. I'll um, insert individual prices of the oils that I got for 20% off in the video if you'd like. Or I, I guess I could also, yeah, I'll just insert the sale price. Uh, but like I said, all of this plus the towel was $50. It was a great deal. Um, so what they got me with, with their great marketing, is they decided to do a 25, or sorry, 20% 20 off day for their bargain bin. And they ended up adding oils into their bargain bin <laughs> and products, um, like this towel, which I'll show you at the end. Um, and another thing is the Ripple Reducer Oil. This was one I was not planning on getting. I was not planning on getting this one, but I noticed that it might... It, Ripple Reducer is basically a way for saying that it might help reduce cellulite. Now, you know, as essential oils, I can't say anything. We can't say that it'll claim to cure a certain disease because none of these are FDA regulated. Like your ear, ease, it eases, it could potentially ease the pain. It's not like it's going to get rid of the infection. Still follow your doctor, go to the, you know, the antibiotics. Same with this, they can't make claims, but this, this blend has been possibly known to help reduce the look of cellulite um, and I'm hoping because of the oils in it and my knowledge of oils that it will do a double whammy for me and also help with leg pain so I'm hoping that I can use these on my thighs and my legs and some of the pain I've been having um, I've actually already created a blend at a 4% dilution rate in a cream which I'll show you in a minute out of this uh, oil blend but these are all pure oils there's um, it consists of pink grapefruit, lavender, rosemary, fennel, juniper berry, bergamot, and German chamomile. Um, I like the smell. It, it is pretty strong. The chamomile is a strong smelling oil. Um, so the smell is nice, which is really a plus. Uh, and I, I forgot to mention the smell of the ear ease is also amazing which thank goodness because you have to put it close to your ears and which would be close to your nose and you could smell it uh, very well. So I wanted to quickly show you the cream that I made out of the um, Ripple Reducer. I used Plant Therapy. I should have brought it out but they I, I didn't buy this item in J at JCAM sales but they have a olive oil unscented um, carrier like lotion and it's basically it's uncolored, it's uncentered um, scented and you can add your own oils into it and make your own cream. Uh, do note that after a couple weeks some of your creams can turn pink and that is totally normal. I have another pain cream I made that turned pink. Um, but that's just a chemical reaction that happens when you mix the oils with this lotion. But it's a real nice lotion. It's not greasy at all. Um, I really enjoy using it. So I'm hoping, I haven't actually tried this yet on my legs, I'm hoping to do so soon, but I wanted to let it set and let the smell set or settle for a few days before trying it. I got the, this is called, a, it's a plastic jar, it's called PET plastic, and it's the only type of plastic that is safe to use with essential oils that won't um, basically erode or, you know, get damaged by the actual oils. And I got this from um, Aromatics International, and they, because Plant Therapy doesn't really sell too many types of varieties of jars. So this is a two ounce jar, and I love it's the perfect size, especially if you don't know if your blend's going to work and you want to try it. Um, I highly recommend that company for some oils and supplies as well. All right, so these last three in the back, I was planning on getting. As soon as single oils went on sale uh, for 20% off each, and they did. And um, basically, they're all geared around pain. Um, black pepper was one I was really planning on getting. Um, originally, I thought, oh my goodness, I don't want an oil that smells like pepper, right? But believe it or not, it doesn't. It kind of, if you know the smell of sweet marjoram, it kind of smells a little bit like that. And a little bit actually like juniper berry. Um, but it's not spicy. It doesn't make you sneeze or anything like that. So I, I was very surprised with it. Um, but this is particularly good for joint pain and inflammation. 
muscle pain as well. It's one of the best um, oils out there, I would say, that could potentially reduce inflammation. Um, it's also labeled kids safe. Uh, I don't know if you can see that on here. But, um, so that's always a plus. Another oil I got for pain and inflammation, and this is also could be used for muscle or joint. It's one of the better pain oils out there. Honestly, my favorite is Copaiba. I could probably spend a whole video talking about Copaiba for pain, but this one's called Juniper Berry, also kid safe. Um, juniper Berry is, you'd think it would smell more like a, a type of tree, but it doesn't really. It actually kind of has a balsamic smell to it, kind of almost similar to black pepper. Um, but it's another one that's really, really good for pain and inflammation. I kept coming up on every pain recipe that I found, so I finally just wanted to get it and try it. And my surprise oil, this is um, it's just a five milliliter bottle, also kid safe. I didn't realize, usually I'm not a fan of the kid safe oils, but I got a lot this time. Uh, this is chamomile Roman, and there's two different types. That's why there, there's also a chamomile German, which is a bluer oil. But this one is kind of like a pale yellow, and it's great. Chamomile, this has been my best, my best purchase. Um, I was so surprised by this oil. I didn't love the smell when I came out of the bottle. It's almost like you get a hint of citrus, perhaps? Like citrus with, with some type of herbal background. And sometimes it smells a little lemony, and sometimes it's more herbal. It, it depends on the day for me. Uh, but I, I, the day they came in, I was particularly a little anxious. And even though I didn't like the smell, I found myself I kept reaching for this bottle and I kept opening it and smelling it. And so I had my husband put it in the diffuser later that night and just one drop and that's a whole nother story I can get into um, about how many drops to put into diffusers. But it, I felt instantly relaxed. I mean, it was one of the first oils I found, well, I would say second oil that I found where it relaxes me without sedating me. Um, because there's some oils you like for sleep, and I think this would work really well for sleep, too. I want to eventually put this in sleep blends. But, um, I want to share with you guys a quick pain recipe that I just made today. And I can probably update it by the time I edit this, uh, to see whether it works to, or not. Because I'm planning on trying it out tonight. But basically, I took a, uh, here's my fancy labeling system. This is a 10 milliliter rollerball bottle. And uh, it's got a stainless steel roller ball at the top. For those of you who are familiar with essential oils, you know this. Um, I basically took uh, two drops of this Roman chamomile, three drops of juniper berry, three black pepper, and three drops of another oil I've had for a while called cypress, and put it into this roller. And I'm hoping that it's going to be a really good pain blend for me. I'll let you guys know how it works. I just did my patch test on my wrist. That's another thing, safety issue I can get into in the future for patch tests. Um, but I want to make sure, bas the basics of it is I want to make sure I'm not allergic to any of these oils since all three of these are new to me, although this one was in this blend, so I have already kind of been exposed to this one, uh, the Roman chamomile. Um, so, yeah, let's get to the towel. So I talked way longer than I wanted to, to or than I thought I would, but I, I could honestly go on about essential oils for a long time. Just ask any of my family. Um, but this is the towel I got. It's the Plant Therapy logo. It's just usually their logo is in green. This happens to be a really pretty, like light purple. Um, people raved about how soft it was, and I got it for five dollars. And it's a really decent sized hand towel. Um, it is white, and I usually don't buy white hand towels, but this I actually thought I was going to use this on my face. It's kind of big for my face, but I still might keep it as just a face towel because it's that soft and that good of a quality. Um, but thank you so much for listening to my essential oil video. I am, In the future, I'm definitely going to go over some more safety tips. I'm thinking in my next video about talking more about essential oil constituents and getting into some of the chemistry and science. Um, especially between two constituents, two different chemotypes of the t oil thyme. It would be thyme linalool versus thyme thymol. Uh, so be tuned for that in the future. Uh, thanks so much for listening again. If you like this video, please like and hit the subscribe button, and I'll catch you next time. Have a good night. Bye.